Hi guys, um, I thought I'd start a new series um, about being confined. Um, I'm starting to see some uh, people online that are talking about um, child uh, trafficking, sex trafficking, um, confining people. Um, so I'd like to weigh in on that. And um, I think the first thing to start with is the fallacy that you know, in some cases this goes on in other countries, but the reason this is hidden in plain sight is because we think of people being confined as like in a cage or you're chained or, or um, you know, you can't walk around or you can't go somewhere. Now, today I, I went to Panera Bread, I had a bagel, I spent the afternoon there, I had a soup and sandwich. Shout out to Panera Bread, thank you very much. Um, somebody had gifted me, thank you very much, with uh, a very generous uh, gift certificate. So I've been able to go there and I'm very grateful. Thank you. Um, but then my next stop is Walmart for a couple things. I usually get my water there. And this is my life now. I mean, I basically go to the gym. I go to Panera Bread. I go to Walmart. The gym, I usually take my shower, you know, work out and, you know, shout out to them. So far, things have been okay there. Uh, it's walking on eggshells because there are people there that have already started acting out and bothering me, but that's another story. But what I want to talk about is how you can confine someone right out in plain view and it's not what you think that, oh, you know, a person isn't being trafficked because they're not in chains in the back of the van. I mean, that goes on, but, you know, we have these nice middle class neighborhoods or you know areas small towns like this where you can so definitely be confined and it doesn't look like you are so i'm going to talk more about that and you know give you my, what's been happening to me and examples of what's going on i have some people online that i've started to follow and that's what i'm going to be talking about in the next series of videos be safe guys take care